Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today bringing our video. And today for Weapon Conversion Series, we are covering the UK's newly adopted Alternative Individual Weapon, or the AIW as it's dubbed for UK Special Forces and Royal Rangers. This is the Knights Armor Company KS-1, or as it's been dubbed in the military realm, the L-403A-1. So this is meant to replace the L-85A-3s in service with UK Special Forces. Um, and again, obviously it's a very similar to the M4 platform. It is a Armalite platform from Knight's Armament Company, who pretty much Knight's Armament, uh, stoner rifle patterns derived the very first M16, uh, rifle. So I'll go ahead, jump into this. I'll show you guys how to build the weapon. Then we'll jump into some gameplay. So here is the final design for the Knight's KS-1 or the L403A1. Go ahead and back out, and we will strip this down to base. So at base here, you're just gonna want the base M4A1 rifle. And what we're gonna add to this is going to be, first we'll start with the muzzle. So for the muzzle here, you're gonna want this Boarhead 3D, 3D printed suppressor. Now in real life, it's a very similar looking suppressor, although it's not quite exact, but it is a uh, Knights Armor Company QDC MCQ PRT suppressor, um, meant for obviously to direct gases, a sound suppression, low profile suppressor. So we'll go ahead and select this. Gonna give a sound suppression, recoil smoothness, and recoil control. And again, you can tune that however you want. This is actually a really good suppressor for recoil control. You're just sacrificing damage at range, aim down sight, things like that. But honestly, you do get very, very good recoil control with this suppressor. So if there's a gun that bounces around a lot, if you're don't need, if you not gonna be engaging at ranges, this is a good suppressor to use. Next up, the barrel option. The base barrel is what you're gonna want with this. You see you obviously have some other options here. Um, the base barrel is the most, the closest to what you're gonna want. It's pretty much almost identical. This is the URGI barrel at base and it's pretty much identical to what the KS-1 um, has for the most part. So we'll go ahead and then for the laser, we're gonna go ahead again. This is no right or wrong one here. We're gonna go with the LAS44, or excuse me, the LAS44 V3. I've seen it with, you know, some different laser-like pec, pec combos, but I've seen it with some some uh, lasers similar to this also. So you can really choose any one you want. We're gonna go with this one. It gives us that green sight, which I really like. Aim down sight speed, aim and stability of the pros, and the cons being laser is visible when you ADS. So just be careful where and when you're doing that. And again, we can tune this around however we want, giving ourselves a little bit more aim and stability. Now for the optic. In real life, this is gonna come with a, uh, it's gonna come with a Vortex 1 to 10 low powered variable optic with a top mounted aim point. So what we're gonna want here, the closest thing we can get is really this Aries clear shot. This is gonna give us a seven time magnification and it does have a canted mounted top um, RMR optic on it as well. So this is really as close as we're going to get. Obviously, it's not exact. Um, hopefully, we'll get some something similar in Modern Warfare 3. But for right now, this is the closest you can get to that one. So we'll go with the Eerie's clear, sh clear Shot. And again, tune it accordingly however you want. Next up, optional attachment here. You can run with this base stock because I've, see, I've seen it run with the, these a lot in the trial videos and things like that in the advertisements. However, I do see it a lot with the Magpul butt stocks as well. So we'll go ahead and put on the Torrent Span stock. This is going to assist us with a little bit with recoil control of cons, our aim down sight speed, and crouch movement speed. So we'll go ahead and select that, give ourselves a little bit more aim and stability there. And then next up, we'll skip the grip the magazine, ammunition, and we're going to go with the underbarrel attachment. Again, you can either run with nothing on the underbarrel and swap it out for something else, like maybe an ammo attachment or something. Um, in this case, we're going to go with uh, the the rigid blueprint here for the Edge 47 grip, just for cosmetics, not for function, but it's gonna give us aiming idle stability, recoil stabilization, and aim down sight speed. So we'll go with that one. Now I chose this particular blueprint option just because when we put the right camo on it, so we're going to want the tanned uh, camo here, the clay colored tam camo. And if you have it, you could probably also run with sand. However, clay is, is pretty much identical to what this thing looks like in real life. So we'll do that. And the reason we picked that goofy blooper for the underbarrel is because uh, it does retain the camo color versus being black. So we'll go ahead and do that. Back out. And here is our final design for the Knights Armor Company KS-1 or the L40, 
or 403A1, as it's dubbed as a military designation. But this is a Knights Arm and Company K series. This one being the K1, and we'll go over that here in the video. So here's the final design. You can see, compared to the real one, it's uh, a slightly different, as well as when we investigated further, the KS1 in real life is actually fully ambidextrous with the fire controls and the boat release. So that is not the case with what we see here in game. You have fully ambidextrous fire controls here. Um, you have the mag release only on the only on the right hand side, and there's no bolt release on the right hand side. Now in real life, this has the mag this has uh, mag release, bolt release, and the uh, select fire switches on both sides. So it is fully ambidextrous. Um, that bolt release you can see there on the left hand side would be right next to or behind the uh, ejection port flap there next to the right behind the mag release on the right hand side of the rifle there and then obviously you have everything else pretty much ar pattern type in real life it does have a a more uh heavier cold hammer forged barrel so there's definitely some differences it's not a standard just m4 ar15 at all there's definitely a lot of uh, proprietary things that knight's armor company has done with this so let's go ahead and we'll jump into the firing range with this rifle now again, this is not exact, but it's as close as we can get, and it's honestly pretty close. The only thing missing is, in real life, the suppressor would be uh, tighter to the handguard, and obviously the vortex optic, we would want something a little bit different, but this still works pretty well. And again, pretty accurate the way we have a bill here, really good, and you can switch, obviously, seven times to the one times for those close to longer range engagements. Now for the recoil on this thing, let's go ahead and check it out. Just let it rip. That's not controlling it. Let's check it with the RMR. So there you go. You can see the pattern actually gets more uh, muzzle climb with the RMR in that case. Let's go ahead and control it now. So you can see you're gonna get a little bit of horizontal bounce there. So you can probably compensate for that uh, with different attachments. Go ahead and do the RMR. So that seemed to be a little bit accurate. Let's see if we can account for that. Uh, that horizontal wobble when you're aimed in, it definitely is more uh, prevalent when you're going down the seven times versus the red dot. And you can obviously see that when we're engaging these longer targets with sustained fire is where it seems to be a problem. Anything, we're anywhere after like 10 shots. So if you burst it, maybe it's gonna be a little easier. And obviously with the red dot, it's really not an issue with that horizontal wobble as much. So much more accurate there. Again, this is the Knight's KS-1. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump into the gameplay for this weapon. Um, again, you see it here on Los Alamos. Just a really good map to use these conversions on. Similar to in my work for 2019, I would pretty much use the same map most of the time too. Um, but again, a good map. And you can see the weapon in action here. Just I'm switching between select fire and full auto. Here and there and i'm running a nice little mp7 on sling you guys will see that here as well so the uh, ks1 is essentially an improved version of the stoner or the knight's armor company sr16 series of rifles um the 13.7 inch here for the k series of weapons which we'll go into the, is the ks1 is the 13.7 inch barrel so this is the one that was adopted by the british royal marines and the ranger regiment in 2023 to replace the sa80 series of weapons that they're using in this case um, they're pretty much using now the brand new or the relatively new SA, uh, SA 80, or excuse me, LA, L85A3s um, is what they're pretty much using right now, which are relatively new. Um, also, the Army Special Operations Brigade and Future Command Force uh, will be adopting these rifles as well for the KS-1. So uh, this weapon, again, there was a couple projects in, in 2022 to switch out the stock of the SA-80s or the L85A3s for the special forces so they had a um competition project hunter i believe is what it was called and the knights armor company won over some pretty um <clears throat> pretty stiff competition so they beat out h and k they beat out sig sours um mcx spear light and they beat out daniel defense and glock so the uk ministry of defense uh purchased these weapons and it will be adopted by special forces um with the option to also adopt more to replace the SA-80 series of rifles um, throughout different regiments going forward. So 
Again, Knights Armor Company really producing really, really good weapons. Um, they always have, but to see them being adopted here in this case is really nice to see. Typically, we see it with police forces and civilian use. Um, but here, the KS-1 being adopted uh, by the Royal Marines and British Armed Forces, Special Forces. So, really good to see. Again, there's a lot of good, um, interesting uh, enhancements to this rifle that are provided to the Knights Armor Company that they made some improvements. Again, one of those being... Uh, the suppressor that they have on the white rifle in real life and the fully ambidextrous lower receiver, which is fully ambidextrous along with the bolt release, which I mentioned. So the KS-1, which is what was adopted here, was a 13.7 inch barrel. Um, it does have a heavy profile barrel with a mid-length gas system. The barrel features distinctive ball-milled dimpling for weight relief and cooling. So if you guys look this weapon up and watch some videos on it, you can kind of see through the handguard. This is a very, it is a unique looking barrel. It's a it's a thick barrel that has a lot of like um, little dimples or holes in it, um, which is what they mentioned here for weight relief and cooling. When paired with a small efficiency suppressor here, which we have uh, relatively close to what we have here, but it is a nice proprietary suppressor. The KS1 um, has a, a similar length to the 10.3 inch M4 with a standard full size suppressor. So um, that just goes to show how, how short and compact the sound suppression um, is on this weapon with this knife, this new Knight's Armament uh, Company suppressor. Now, the other other K series here, you have a K2, um, which is a 14 and a half inch barrel with a mid-length gas system. You have a K3, which is 11 and a half inch barrel um, with a carbine length gas system, and you have a KS4 with a 16 inch barrel with a mid-length gas system. So, those are the K series. Again, the K KS1 is a 13.7 inch barrel, which was adopted here um, in the UK. So the type of this weapon is obviously an assault rifle. Place of origin is Knights Armament Company here in the United States. Um, it's been in service, just adopted formally last month here in September. So it's been in service 2023 through present. So a full month just about now. Um, used by British Armed Forces. Um, the design period took place in 2022. And it's been being produced since 2022. So the mass for this thing is 6.9 pounds or 3.12 kilograms. Length overall is going to be 32.2 through 34.2 inches based on the buttstock, um, based on the buttstock length and or suppressor. Um, the barrel length is going to be, like we just said, different lengths there for the different case series. In this case, it's gonna be the 13.7 inch barrel. And the cartridge is the 5.6 by 45 millimeter NATO, the standard um, NATO cartridge for the rifle car cartridge. The action is gas operated rotating bolt and it takes standard stenag mags. Sights are folding back up iron sights and obviously you have full like pick rails and an M-lock M -lock points on your handguard for um, different optical mounts, laser lights, things like that. So that is the Knight's KS-1. Let me know your thoughts down below what you guys think of this weapon. Um, it is a really unique weapon. I, I really, honestly, it's it's uh, it's really cool to see something like this here in the, um, in the game being added. Um, I really, really like, well, it's, it's been in the game pretty much, but to see this thing in real life and that we can kind of replicate it in the game is really cool. It'd be cool if we get some some distinct attachments like the barrel for it. However, this is pretty much as close as we're gonna get with that for sure. I don't think they're gonna be adding anything else to this. But let me know your thoughts um, down below here, what you think of this. Again, memberships are also live on the channel. Best way to support the channel is to just like, share the video, um, watch the ads, things like that. But we do have, um, Memberships live on the channel. So a shout out to our members here. We have Man Ain't Nobody, Asan V07, PDX Jake, Ram Ramster. We have KDog350, Aiden Flores, This Justin, FPS Cannon Butter, and Noodley Boyo. So let me know your thoughts down below the KS1 rifle. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the Knights Armament Company KS1 or the L403A1. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.